Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Here we have two Sunderland third kits for the 2024-25 season. One of them is a DH gate fake which costs about £11 to buy and the other one is actually a match worn shirt that was used in the game against Watford. Now I know that it's quite tempting for people to go ahead and risk paying £11 and seeing what sort of shirt they get. So I just thought I'd do a video and show the differences really. So as you can probably guess, this is the fake one. The biggest issue is the colour. It's a lot brighter. On the real shirt, it's like a dark blue powder. Whereas here, it's pretty much sky blue. It's like Coventry City colours. Also, if you look at the pattern, it's a bit thinner. But again, from a distance, you're not really going to notice that. Another difference is the real version doesn't have the sizes inside. The fake one does. Also, the Huawei is a lot bolder on the fake. The SCFC badge is the wrong angle. On the real version, it's like 10 to 5. Whereas on the fake, it's more like sort of 20 to 4. The Hommel logo on the fake is really, really thin. It's almost like a plastic material. Whereas on the real version, it's rubber and it's very thick and it feels of a much higher quality. Same goes for the badge as well. It's rubber on here, but it's a much thinner rubber. And I feel like that... If you're buying this for £11 to wear five aside, I don't think this will survive two washes, to be brutally honest. It's got all the other little details, the official authentic Aperol and Eco 8. Now this match one one's got the extra sponsors. It's got Sirios Group, which kind of spoils the home shirt but on this third shirt the colors match it really well i think it actually looks better with that on the sleeve you've got valhalla which is apparently some like cryptocurrency game i don't really know it looks like a cheap energy drink logo to me but they can't be happy how invisible that looks on this shirt by the way on the fake the badge on the back is a lot bigger than on the real one it's also if you look here on the real one in the middle you got a horizontal white line whereas on here the shield's pretty much cut in half <laughs> yeah you can really see from a distance just how much of a color difference there is i did textiles at school about 20 years ago so I don't really know how I'd put it but this is like a sort of mesh material on the real one whereas on the fake it's not it's also a lot thicker so there you go not the best video in the world admittedly but I just wanted to do something that might help people out if people are kind of oohing and ahhing whether to get a real one or a fake one as tempting as it probably is to go for the 11 pound option if you can't afford to pay full price for one of these, I'd say wait until they're reduced in a sale and get them from the club. You'll probably be able to get them for a lot cheaper at some point. And you'll get a real one, the money will go to the club, and it'll last a lot longer than that will. That's starting to fall apart, me just looking at it.